Ja. Oh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh! One more, one more! Yeah! I'm switching off. Oh, I'm God, right. Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 top plays. In today's episode, we have a bunch of clips that focus on fast reactions and epic moments. This one from Pindas is perfect as he bails out of the top of his Messerschmitt. Doesn't hit the bazooka, but has some dynamite lined up for that enemy bomber. The next one is fairly similar but even more cinematic with an epic dynamite takedown. Victor Scar's next up with three clips. The first is going to be on Rotterdam, getting behind the enemy team on Bravo and taking them out. All three clips from Victor are actually going to be on this underground section of Rotterdam, kind of under the bridge, as you find bunches of enemy players, this time on Alpha Objective with a big point stack. And once more, Bravo objective, jumping down off these stairs behind the enemy players. He gets a bunch of kills on all of these unsuspecting enemies. Some of that aim from Victor Scar was really, really fast and awesome to watch, but Shady NZ takes it to a new level. Yes, he's playing with the Type 2A, but you also get the benefit of a mouse cam and a quite unusual mouse grip, not something that you see a lot of the time. Pretty cool stuff, though, on Operation Underground, taking out loads of enemy players, two clips in total. This first one has some nice close quarters moments, as does the second clip, which is on Mercury with a bunch of headshots. MG is next up. This is going to be a flank on Iwo Jima, your typical back rage as you push up the side of the cliff. You have this little entrance through the side. No one really ever holds this, and if they do, it's usually only one or two people. You take them down, and in you go. This one completely dismantles the enemy team. A tank gets taken down as well in this assault push on Alpha. Two Battlefield 1 clips for you. The first one is from Exo. This is one of the best Battlefield 1 clips I've seen in a long time. His reaction times are just insane. The way he snaps to enemy players, sometimes not directly on the enemy as you might really want to, but a lot of the time it is just spot on. This guy is an incredible player and this Rabi Roll Optical is his weapon of choice. Unfortunately for the enemy players, none of them really react to him in that first clip. Next up we have Thunder, this is with the Howl Automatic Sniper, a nice bit of positioning around the side of this corner here on Amion. A bunch of enemy players on the bridge get completely wiped out and he continues this rampage for another 20 seconds or so with this incredible Medic SLR. They 
sent up a shock trooper. EN-98 is coming in with a sniping clip on aerodrome, starting out with a quick scope and then getting into the enemy's faces on Alpha Objective. His sniping is second to none in this game. It's incredible the headshots that he gets. Awesome stuff. Another clip caught live oh on stream God, from Mick Assault. This one's going to be on Marita. Visibility is difficult on Marita, that's for sure. But with the aid of some 3D spotting and, of course, some good eyesight from his end, he gets himself a really nice clip in this building on Alpha. Some great close quarters action using this revolver. Jenny Pouse is next. This is Battlefield 1 on Amion, a nice aggressive streak. Starting out with a kill on this light tank that's in front of him, making use of his anti-tank grenades. And then, of course, that AT rocket gun. You are required to bipod it, which is a bit of a shame, but it still is really powerful if used correctly. Now he goes on a rampage through Bravo Objective, trying to get to the objective itself. A bunch of kills in the process. Two clips from Stevastating. This one's going to be on Operation Underground using the Suomi. A nice, aggressive infantry play with some really quick reactions. And the second is going to be on Marita. Once again, an aggressive play. This time, he's going to be pushing towards the Alpha objective. Really 3D spotting coming in there as he spots a bunch of enemies. Gets himself four headshots in a row. 2,500 points in that streak. An awesome clip. The rush shot's next up with three clips. The first is going to be on Narvik. That guy just decides to go prone at exactly the wrong time and catches a bullet to the head, as do a few of his teammates. The second is on devastation of Rotterdam getting behind the enemy players with this slow firing grease gun. There is a guy on his right here, he notices him just in time. Unfortunately, that guy doesn't have quick reactions, but a nice little flank on devastation. And finally, a clip on Iwo Jima. A nice little selection here from the rush shot. Unfortunately, misses his first shot, and it's a difficult one here in the scout class. What do you do with a bunch of enemy players? You can't spray them down, so the secondary is usually the way to go, and then a bunch of throwing knife kills as well. Two clips from WoW Gaming. The first is against a bunch of camping enemy players. The Madsen, his weapon of choice, just takes three or four of them out with that first peak. None of them react, and a few more taken down with the second peak. A 
And the second one, this is your typical Bravo objective Rotterdam flank, similar to what we saw from Victor at the start of this video. If you get in the right position on Bravo, on Rotterdam, and you get underneath this bridge, there's always a bunch of enemy players sitting there on breakthrough. An awesome clip. Just three clips left in today's episode and they are going to be showcasing some blind enemy players. This first one from Toxicy Oddpad. He's playing on Wake Island and he gets a load of headshots with this Krag Jorgensen. Some great accuracy from start to finish. But what I don't understand is why these enemy players keep on peeking the same positions without taking him down. He doesn't have a whole lot of cover. He's got a bit of you know, foliage in front of him, this bit of a tree in front of him. But they just keep peeking the ammo box and he gets 10, maybe more, all headshots. These enemy players just not really understanding how to take him down. The penultimate clip in today's episode is from Drift. This is going to be on Operation Underground, a typical back rage as he makes his way around the side here. Quite good here, seeing him going prone when there's an AP mine behind him. He does it a few times in the clip. Often, I forget to do that. It's a simple trick to avoid taking as much damage. He gets behind the enemy players and watch as they completely fail to deal with him. <laughs> Let's go! And finally today, a clip from Jam Hammington. This is going to be on Devastation of Rotterdam. Alpha objective needs to be armed. He just walks in, kills everybody, and arms it. Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like down below. If you didn't, again, feel free to leave a dislike. You can send your clips into battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com if you want a chance to be featured, and you can find the players' channels in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.